We're gonna let out four rods here. The first one we're gonna let out is gonna be on a snap weight. So why don't you let out a leader of 50 feet. Now the reason we use 50 foot leader is, is this area we're fishing here is pretty clear. So even as something as small as a snap weight like this might spook these fish. So then I'll let out a 50 foot leader and then we'll attach the snap weight and drop it down. Now obviously you don't run that 50 foot leader or tie that 50 foot leader right to your spinner. What I like to do is just tie up my spinner, regular open water spinner, but then on this end use some kind of a ball bearing snap or a ball, just a ball bearing swivel itself. And I actually connect that to the line that's on my rod. Okay, and on my rod I've just got my little clip that I normally use for crankbaits. Now I add on this extra swivel so that if my spinner spins at all, I've just got a nice system in there to keep everything nice and straight. Now this is when I start to put out the leader with my actual line on my reel. So once we get that leader out, just about there Lynn? Yeah. The next thing we're going to do is put on the snap weight and as the name implies, you just pinch this open, put it on the line, snap it on and it's ready to go down. Now a real important thing now is, is the amount of, of dropper, we call it, that we let out. So then Lynn's going to let out uh, about another 25 feet and that's going to be our dropper line. So it should be at 75 total. And that's going to drop that spinner down into the zone that we want to be covering. Then I'm going to just simply clip on my board here. Very similar to the snap weight, just kind of snaps on the line. And then that's going to be set in the water. Lynn's going to let out some more line and it'll spread out to the side. So we got spread to the side with the boards. We got spread up and down with those snap weights. Hopefully we'll figure out where them walleyes are biting. 